this broadcast is coming from the Cordori Synagogue of Porto, northern Portugal. This is the 75th anniversary of our synagogue. Uh, the synagogue was founded by an uh, amazing person, uh, Captain Baruch Bastel, who uh, at the beginning of the 20th century became aware of the large number of crypto Jews in Portugal and felt he wanted to give them an opportunity to return to the faith. And that's why he was keen to build such a large synagogue uh, because he saw it as being the uh, what he called the Cathedral of the North. Uh, Baruch Bash's uh, uh, mission uh, eventually um, generated hostility in the regime because um, every person that he managed to bring back to Judaism was a loss to the Catholic Church. And uh, at that time, the uh, Catholic Church was very close to the regime, and uh, they decided to put a plan in motion to stop his project. He was a hero because he made a huge personal sacrifice to not only construct this uh, synagogue um, during a time when we had World War II and Nazism was, was raging in Europe and even here in Portugal we had a fascist regime so he did something quite extraordinary to even manage to build such a, such a monument. Uh, the, the synagogue was built in uh, 1929 was when the building started. Uh, it was initially financed by the Portuguese Mariners Committee of London. Uh, unfortunately the building was interrupted due to the depression in England and the Portuguese Mariners Committee was no longer able to finance the building. And later on, um, uh, uh, two members of the Kudori family uh, in Hong Kong, in memory of their father, decided to finance the completion of the building and that is why it bears their name. But in addition, he, um, he rescued refugees that were fleeing Nazi Europe during World War II and gave them sanctuary here. There were plenty of uh, many, many refugees that came through, from Europe through Portugal to go to America and other countries. And uh, they were received here. And in addition, he started the whole Jewish community here. And he taught people that, you know, the services and what it meant to be Jewish. And as a result, he was persecuted and, and humiliated and stripped of his rank as captain and, and dismissed from the army. And he died in ignominy, in, you know, uh, a very sad, a very sad man. And actually, we were able to have his name rehabilitated last year by Parliament. And that was, again, a very historic moment because the government recognized that it had gone wrong and publicly, you know, um, Apologized, which is quite quite some things. Captain Barros Basto was a great, great man. He lived in Portugal in a very difficult situation. He had a, a grandiose task uh, in his hands, and he was persecuted. He was he was expelled from the army. He was humiliated, and uh, me, uh, as a member of Parliament. I did not rest until the memory of Captain Barbus Basto was officially rehabilitated and I have succeeded with the help of my friends and uh, that is uh, indeed a great moment because with the rehabilitation of Captain Barbus Basto was Portugal, uh, the nation, its people, who was rehabilitated after all. And I think it's very symbolic that uh, now at that celebration uh, we are a few months after finally, finally in Parliament, and we have here two parliamentarians. Uh, finally, the Parliament uh, gave him back his honor, and uh, we can look at him as he is, uh, as he was, a great hero. I'm actually very honored to be part of the movement that that was able to rehabilitate him this earlier this uh, this legislature in the Parliament by reinstating him into the army where he never should have been expelled from.
captive virus buster was he gave over his life to helping others to become Jewish and, and he, he, gave, he virtually lost all his career just for that cause. And uh, of course the relationship uh, with, uh, with Barros Basta and the Portuguese society is one that uh, we, uh, we are very sorry for what happened but uh, we were able to uh, try to make things right now. It's been an amazing day, uh, very emotional. Uh, loads of families from different places in the world, London, Brazil, Argentina have all come together to, uh, to, uh, to come to this immaculate, well-built shul to remember the captain, Baros Bastos, who, uh, who tried to bring together the Jewish community in Porto, but unfortunately was accused of things that he didn't do and was unable to do this. So by coming here today, we are trying to fulfill what he wanted to do by coming to this shul. You have joined the um, Kaduri Synagogue community to celebrate their 75th anniversary and you've come especially from London. Yes, indeed I have, together with the Barry family and, and a larger family and the families who have come from Brazil and Argentina all over the world to show their solidarity um, with the community to try and strengthen the community to go from um, strength to strength going forward. People have come um, at the drop of a hat, people like yourself, people like family Samuels, family Greenwood, um, and just come and being part of hopefully a, a revolution and I hope it meets with success and continued success. It's been um, a really fantastic uh, weekend. Um, I've learned so much about the Portuguese Jewish history here and uh, it's been quite moving, especially to hear about uh, the story of the captain mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, what happened to him and, and the pardon that was given to him. And it's been great to, be, uh, to see that story come to fruition and to bring Jews back here for this weekend. It's really been very moving. It's actually quite, his it's a historic moment and I don't think we've ever had quite so many people here so it's very exciting for us. The representatives here from Parliament, from the Order of Lawyers of Apogados, the Bar Association, fantastic speeches. Really good speeches and the whole, the whole power and everyone joining in, it's just amazing. Great uh, day, uh, we are commemorating the anniversary of the synagogue and I'm particularly very happy because as uh, Honorary Consul of Israel in Porto, uh, it seems to me very, a very, very special uh, day.
I'm very happy to be here. It's my first time at the synagogue here. Uh, we've been doing some, some work with the community. And as a member of parliament, I think uh, being part of the celebration, being invited here is a very big honor. A very uh, wonderful moment. And I suppose it is a new beginning for the Jewish community here in Oporto. Irene, you can see that this country really does hold the Jews in their heart in a very different way from most countries in Europe. Yes, a very inspirational day. Uh, a day of tolerance, a day of peace, and a day that we must remember because in the past there are also good things. And tomorrow we are going to remember this day as a good thing to look at the future. And how do you think um, Isabel uh, Captain Bausch Pastor a grand how do you think she's feeling today? She's feeling extremely happy because, um, as you know, we have three daughters and our three daughters are learning how they should be and they will be important in this community, looking back to their heritage. The interest in this community has grown enormously and we see that um, there will be a great future for uh, visitors coming to this country, coming to visit Portugal, coming to visit Porto, which is a beautiful historic city, and to see this beautiful synagogue. Uh, I was the author of the text in, approved by all parties in the Portuguese parliament. And in the, that uh, the words, in my words, there is an apology of the Portuguese parliament for what was done to the Jews in all over the centuries and to Captain Barros Basco. Marvelous occasion. It's great. I felt an energy in the synagogue that perhaps it never had before. It feels like a rebirth. Mm -hmm.